In this program, we'll learn how to use combo boxes. We're going to use three of them, one dealing with animals, one with verbs, and one with colors. Combo boxes are a combination of a list box and a text box. So we'll grab a combo box out of the toolbox, make it a little wider. The three-letter prefix for a combo box is CBO. I'll call this one CBO Animal. I want to change its font to make the words appear a little larger. I'll change it to 14 and we'll change the color as well. Maybe blend in a little better with the purple background that we have. Once again, it's a combination of a text box and a list box. So we see the items as we saw in a list box and we can populate this with several animals. I'll put five of them in. And when we run the program, we can press the little drop down arrow and there they appear. We can select giraffe, we could select penguin, and we can also type in an animal. Remember, it's a combination of a list box and a text box. We were able to sort the items in a list box, we can sort the items in a combo box. Now our animals appear in alphabetical order. They also have a selected index and a selected item, just as we saw with the list box. The drop down style by default is drop down. So you don't see all the items right away, and you can also type your own item into the text box. Let's check out another combo box. We'll make this one deal with a verb. So we'll call this CBO verb. We'll also change its font to make things appear a little larger and the color to match the other combo box. And we'll put some verbs inside here. I'll use some past tense verbs. And notice again by default you get a drop down combo box. Another drop down style is simple. And here all of the items appear all the time. We have to use the arrow to see the items in the drop down style, but in the simple style they appear all the time. And once again we can type in our own data into the text box, separate from the items that were already there. We can also sort the items, now they're in alphabetical order. Let's get a third combo box. This one we'll deal with a color. We'll list several colors inside and we'll give it the name CBO color. We'll change the font and the four color so that it will match the other two combo boxes. And we'll put some colors inside in the list of items kind of a stream of consciousness, but we can sort them if we would like. We'll do that down in the sorted property. That's optional, of course. But if we don't want our users to change anything and only have the choices that we put in, then we'll use a drop down list. Now they cannot type in their own text. We can select dog, we can select zebra, and if we want, we can enter our own text into a drop down style. In the simple style, we can select from the items that are already there, and we can also type in our own. But with a drop-down list, we are limited to only the items that are in the collection. There are no other choices. We can also use the scroll wheel to go through them. Those are the three different drop-down styles a combo box can have. A combo box can also possess the focus. So we'll go to the tab order and we'll start the zero in the tab order in the first combo box and move our way across them and then head down to our buttons. We can press alt in the down arrow and make our items appear. And tab over to the next one. Let's see how we can use the items that have been selected or typed in by the users, we'll display them in a label.
Our label is called LBL sentence. But we're going to declare three string variables to hold the words that we're going to get out of the combo boxes. One for the animal, one for the verb, and one for the color. To get the words out of the combo boxes, it helps us to remember that combo boxes are both list box and text box. And just as a text box has a dot text property, so does a combo box. So we'll make our str animal variable equal cbo animal dot text. And we'll use a similar strategy to get our verb and our color. We'll put our results inside of a label. Nothing elaborate yet, we just want to test this out to see if we really can get the words out of the combo boxes. Let's take a look. We'll select zebra, licked, and red, and there they are. Once again, we can type into a drop-down style or a simple style don't have that option in the drop-down list. We must select from the items that are in the collection. Well, let's make a more interesting sentence. You may also notice that all of those words started with capital letters, so we can employ dot to lower to make them lowercase. I have them all start with capital letters just in case when I make a sentence, I want that to be the very first word. So we'll use the color as an adjective to modify our animal. And we will have our animal take some kind of a verb action uh, with a birthday present. Let's see what happens. We can select a penguin, purchased, orange, and it all comes together. We can have a zebra, drove, yellow, and it works. And a reminder, in a drop-down style of drop-down, we can type into the combo box, same for simple, but not for the drop-down list. Let's look at how we can reset or clear our combo boxes. Well, one thing, of course, we'll want to do is clear our sentence. We've done this before. Let's take a closer look at what happens with the combo boxes. We know we want to take the text out in our drop-down style of drop-down. That's what CBO Animal has. So we'll make its text equal string.empty. Use a similar strategy on CBO Verb. Let's see where that gets us. We'll create a sentence. When we reset, the text disappears, but notice that licked is still selected. It's at index one in that combo box with the simple drop-down style. So we also need to change the selected index to negative one. Just as we saw with the list box, when the selected index is negative one, that indicates nothing is selected. We'll do that for both of those combo boxes. There's our sentence, and when we reset or clear, nothing is selected in our first two. Our final combo box is of the drop-down style drop-down list. We'll simply set its selected index to negative one. It's a read-only combo box. Don't have to worry about users typing anything extra into the text area, and we really don't need to clear the text out. So a giraffe that is orange will purchase a birthday present. We'll reset, and everything looks nice. 
Remember, though, we can also assign the focus to the first combo box. It can possess the focus. So we'll create a sentence. Reset. And I can use my scroll on my mouse wheel and change the animals. You can choose what combo box you need when it comes to the drop-down style, whether you need drop-down, simple, or drop-down list.